Who the f is Jay Z? Escape global music. What, what are you escaping from? Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? It's your guy. D to the A to the R to the N. B -b 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 and we're back with another episode of The Bars Report. That's right, my friends, The Bars Report. My bad. I know it's been a brief hiatus, but I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I was on tour. I was sober. I was doing a lot of different things. I'm trying to get my life right, but we back. So, yo, let's talk about it. Yo, let's get right into it. Drake is sending shots at Jay? So, it all goes back to Drake had his own concert. And he came out there and he was talking on the mic about unloyal friends, about people being unloyal to him and people that ain't did him right and people that he thought was his friends. Yo, this is insane to me. I mean, obviously, we know it's because of, you know, the whole war between him and Kendrick. But I'm pretty sure, ladies and gentlemen, the Super Bowl was the last move. That's right, my friends, the last move. He gave Kendrick the Super Bowl over Wayne despite Drake. Lord have mercy, somebody had to say something. I'm just saying, somebody had to say something. Would you agree with me? I agree with me. So then, homeboy goes on stage and he performs Me, Myself, and I. He doesn't perform it. He plays the song with Beyonce. He plays the Me, Myself, and I record for Beyonce, right? And then goes on his IG story and posts a picture of Solange when she was beefing with Jay in the elevator. Can you believe it? Sorry, y'all. I got to try the new Krabby Patty. I like it. SpongeBob makes a good burger. And that went down in 2014 in the elevator between Beyonce and Jay-Z and Solange. Then afterwards, he posted up a picture of Aaliyah. And you already know how it goes down, man. Everybody's trying to tie it in together somehow, some way. This is all crazy if you ask me. But you know what Drake is doing. He pretty much getting it off right now. You know what I'm saying? Getting the song, getting the people talking. Did a show. Here we go again. Into the circle. Now, we all remember when Lil Wayne was going that hole. You know what I'm saying? Kidnap your lady money. Got your little lady money. That's that. Like, that's not, that ain't nothing crazy. But this right here, oh, man, you, Drake is taking the headshots, bro. Honestly, I'm waiting for Kendrick to inherit the battle. Take it all the way from Jay. I can see it. Can you see it? I see it. Shout out to Drake. Keep doing what you're doing. Get the people talking. Get the people mysterious. Get the people, you know what I'm saying? Get the people interested again. Because you done dropped the whole project, my friend, and... Didn't ring off the 80 gigs, the 100 gigs, whatever gig. I don't know. I got my own gigs. I ain't worried about that. But you stick to making hot music, bro, because that's what's going to make you beat all this. That's what's going to make you suffice. Just keep making the hits. The women don't care about the beef. They do and they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like they do and they don't. They care on the strength that you lost, but they don't care if you keep making them good hits. And the same can be said for R. Kelly. The same can be said for anybody who's lost a battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not putting you there with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're a pedophile or none of that, but I digress. Let's go back. I didn't mean to say any of that. Let's run all that back. Drake, you can never erase that L that Kendrick handed to you. That's a fact. I think you should keep doing what you're doing, gain that interest again, and then beat everybody. Scrape everybody. Come back, bro. Come back swinging. Do them push-ups she was talking about. Drake, stay emotional. Always stay bothered. That's you. That's you in your lane. Continue to do that. Build that buzz, get the get the women interested again, and do what you're doing, son. It ain't over for you. You got something to say? Let them know. I think it was yum yum sauce. Ow. Kendrick doing the Super Bowl, and he just announced the tour. A world tour. They're going around the world with this. 
So the whole cease and desist that Drake was trying to send, uh, allegedly, we'll see if that even takes place because my man been going hard. Pause. My man been going real hard. Pause. Kendrick about about to circle around the world. Talking about they not like us. Talking about pedophiles. Talking about, and it's probably a minor. All right. All that's about to go around the world, son. If it ain't already go around the world. They not like us, though. They not. So clearly, Drake feel like Kendrick and Jay is like this, son. I don't even really think they like this, son. I really think they like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, know, Jay-Z's just that type of guy, bro. Like, I already know back in the day, he asked Drake to do the, um, the title deal. You know what I'm saying? When Beyonce did it, Kanye did it. Everybody that was really messing with him, like, really did it at the time. But... Drake didn't do it. Drake went with Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wayne and Jay, they've already done squash day thing, in my opinion. Like, that's already done with. But what's left between what's left between Drake and Jay? A bunch of animosity that you didn't clean up. This is my opinion, bro. Like, you think it's cool? Yo, we done seen Puffy and Jay hang together. They're cut from the same club. So you know what that means. I'm not talking about all that. No. All right. The bars report has been on pause because I don't even want to talk about all that. But I will talk about the cut from the same cloth as far as Jay-Z. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's a contract gangster. Just like Sean Puffy Combs. Contract gangsters. They'll tell you one thing in your face. The contract is everything. That's how they got to where they got. Well, you think I'm bugging? You think I'm wilding out? Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go. At the same time, I don't even do all this conspiracy theory stuff, man. Like, I didn't want to talk about my fault. I didn't want to talk about Dolph. I don't want to talk about Cardi. And I don't want, I damn sure don't want to talk about Puffy. Three things I don't want to talk about, unless it's relevant to the other conversations. Do you think my man uh, Drake bugging? Do you think he's reaching? Do you think he's uh, uh, wilding for respect? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Report. I'm just reporting it. I don't have a personal view in it. This could be all be a conspiracy. This is just what the people saying. This is what I collected. And here we go. Who had a better yo? Who has a better legacy versus who had a better year? Jay Z. Put yourself in his position. Was it on some spiteful stuff, or was it really on some? I don't know if I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I rock with Wayne's live performances. Like, yo, Wayne was just at the 4040 reopening. You know what I'm saying? He was there with Jay side by side. They was cool. They, I'm sure they had conversations. It's that and third. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, at the same time, Wayne said he was hurt that he didn't get picked for the spot. Maybe he didn't work hard enough. You know what I'm saying? He took, he took the real humble approach. And so we just don't know. You know what I'm saying? We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. So the question really is, did Jay-Z make the best decision? Was it a business decision or was it a spite decision? Let me know what you think in the comments. All I know is, Drake, you throwing in the best names. You got Beyonce in the mix. You got Solange in the mix. You throwing mad subliminals. You throwing mad shots. I love it. I'm here and I'm around for it. That's all I know. This is Hip Hop Baby, and this is The Bars Report. Tune in, check in, like and subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, and we out of here. One. Escape global music. What are you escaping from?